Ghodokomsky, ranked number 17 in the world. His participation in such a strong tournament, practically right before his match with Topolov, is quite risky. You know, there's a Russian saying, if you run after two bunnies, you won't catch either one. There's a complication here. There aren't any bunnies in Ekanzi, nor in Sofia. In fact, there are hungry great wolves ready to eat anyone. On the other hand, for Gata, an experienced and mature predator, this small, on an emotional scale, adventure in the Netherlands could be a very good warm-up before the big match in Bulgaria. Everything depends on the approach. The key here is to play to enjoy and not show any of the uh, strong opening cards. And then the preparation for the match won't be for nothing. If you remember how the calendar of the American Grandmaster was uh, filling out, it's possible to call the situation unavoidable. You see, the contract with the vacancy organizers was signed much earlier, and the match with Topolov was squeezed into a February opening in a very rushed and quick manner in the end of November when it wasn't really ethical to change plans anymore. In any case, we should wish God endurance and philosophical uh, look at any result. I, as a commentator, would of course love to see a game full of commentary and variations, but I will forgive all of that for Komsky, as well as his careful economizing of strength. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Long Yu, number 13 in the world. Finally, the Chinese chess players started playing regularly in the best tournaments of the year. I can't say that I passionately wish for this, but for us as commentators, it's necessary to evaluate the distribution of power. The players from China have already proved their power and their right to represent the great sporting country in the most elite chess centers of the world. Emin Yu is the best of them, the hero of the year 2008. By the pl uh, fighting style, the Chinese player reminds that of the best masters of the positional style, Petra San, Karpov, Kramnik. He surprisingly subtly fuels the nuances of the coordination of the pieces, beautifully maneuvers, defends like a virtuoso, but Meng Yu is lacking a strong blow. That's one flaw that will keep him from fighting for the first prizes. An interesting question, will the coaches helpers come to make Z? In some of the tournaments of the last year, the Chinese leader fought on his own, which is obviously equal to giving a start to the other players. Besides the simple distribution of the pressure for, during preparation, which helps save some energy, there is also a psychological factor. Being on another planet, it's nice to have someone from your country, a friend countryman, who can support you and with whom you can speak your own native language, in this case that of an alien. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Levon Aranyan, ranked number 11 in the world. The most probable competitor of the main favorite. A huge talent and player in the peak of his development. Universal, a favorite of the gods. The Armenian Grandmaster successfully hit uh, at the end of last year. Modestly for his level played in the Olympiad, didn't shine in Nankin, so there can't be any talk about overplaying and calmness. On the contrary, Levon is probably full of desire to remind the world about himself. And he will. You can be sure about that. Thank you very much. Have a good day.